Welcome back. It's Indiana. If it's your first time here, hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to my wine series, Simply Called Sip. Oh my God, yo, I think I like this. So I'm drinking today a red wine, Cabernet, and it's Robert Mondavi, the private selection Cabernet Sauvignon aged in bourbon barrels. Okay, and when I tell you this is a very interesting red wine. First, it's like a wine shot in a glass okay you can taste the bourbon it's heavy on the alcohol it's like 14 and a half percent by volume but the fact that it was aged in the bourbon barrels it gives it a bit more kick to me as far as the taste the finish um it's a short body though drinking it when you sip It doesn't last too long on the tongue or anywhere on your taste buds, in your mouth, on the roof of your mouth. At least not to me. Now, smell, it's, you can definitely smell the alcohol, it's, you can smell the oak slightly. You can taste the oak though a lot more on, I'll say more so on the finish. The bourbon, the actual bourbon is like somewhere in the middle. Like when you, the first sip you take, or when you take it, the first taste on the tongue is definitely the alcohol, a bit of some type of dark berry. I want to say, I want to say like really really dark dark blackberries or some really good old blueberries. I'm gonna go with blackberries. And then the bourbon is like mixed in perfectly in the middle, and that like oaky finish. Oh. Now. For me personally, Cabernet isn't my favorite red, at least. I'm more partial to white. It's not my favorite red, but this is a very good one. It's it's a it's like a specialty. I'll definitely gift this wine to someone who either one likes Cabernet, just likes wine in general, or is a person who likes, you know, like exquisite or special things. It would be cool to be like, oh, I got you this private collection, Robert Montavi, darling. Uh-huh. Asian bourbon barrels. You, you've ever tried it? Oh, it's going to be such a delight on the tongue. Oh. Even though I'm winding down from work, I personally wouldn't suggest this as a wind down type of wine for one because of like it being like a shot a wine shot or a shot in a wine glass or I think I said shot in a glass the first time so we're gonna keep going with that even though it's a shot a wine shot in the glass <laughs> forgive me I'm distracted it's definitely after work I'll be it I'm winding down myself this particular wine isn't a wind down type of wine at least if I do say so myself because of the fact it's like a wine shot in a glass you know if you're I would suggest this to men you know they or oftentimes you don't find too many men who particularly enjoy a nice glass of wine men most men, whether they're uh, the, what would you say, like blue collar type of workers to even the higher caliber type of men, 
they prefer either the hard liquor or the straight liquor somehow maybe they might cut it mix it with coke ginger ale they like beers wines you know it's a toss-up this i would suggest to a man or if you're a lady and you're trying to impress a man and you don't know what he likes to drink get this cabernet here the Robert Manzavi private selection, <laughs> aged in bourbon barrels. Use it as a talking point, okay? Aged in bourbon barrels. What you mean? It should have a nice oak finish, you know. And you should, you know, you should taste the bourbon somewhere mixed in there. That's how I would guess it. <laughs> Now, I'm going to finish this. As you can see, I'm a bit unkempt after work. You caught me. You get to see the bends in my hair from my ponytail holder. And I've already relaxed myself. So I'm going to finish this. And I will see y'all next time. Thank you for stopping by. If you like red wine, again, the Robert Mondavi Cabernet Private Collection, the one that was aged in the bourbon barrels. Good gift. It's a nice, you know, I would say wine shot in a glass. So if you want a party or if you're trying to have dinner with a guy who you don't know what he likes to drink and you're pretty sure he probably likes hard liquor just because he's a guy, I mean, if you want to go with what men tend to like in a general sense and if you want something exquisite on the tongue it kind of just dances around on your taste buds give that one a try all right it's actually a grocery store wine so you don't have to order it or run to the liquor store or anything like that you can go to at least where i got it was at harris teeter see y'all next time thank you bye Okay, wait, 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 um, a bunch of stuff that I gotta get used to <laughs> is telling you, one, to subscribe. If you like wine, if you like to talk about wine, sip wine, mm. look at wine bottles and collect vinium. If you like to talk frivolous things, talk about alcohol, please, please, please. Subscribe, hit the notification bell because that will let you know oh, that I got something coming up next, okay? Please talk to me in the comments, you know, try to keep it on topic, keep it on wine, or at least about what happened in the video. If you notice something, if you're being a little judgy, if you're feeling good, feeling great, because you too are sipping. Talk to your girl in the comments, okay? And share. Please, please, please share. Because one, it means a lot. Come on now. And other people who like to talk wine, they might can find me and they'll be like, Hey, girl, I like wine too. Would you like to talk wine with me? You want to have a glass of wine virtually? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh. And also, follow me on my social media Instagram, okay, Twitter when it gets up, and TikTok if it hasn't gone completely kaput here in the U.S. at Indiana Giordani, also on Facebook, Indiana Giordani, and I like to close this video out with the quote here from the wine cork. And it says, making good wine is a skill. Making fine wine is an art. Robert Mondavi. Y'all take care. Bye.